Well, this summer God has taught me a lot. Um, God has taught me that too. I guess God has taught me. The Lord has been teaching me this summer about His love for me and that He loves me with an everlasting love. You never know how God is using you. Just because you can't see the visible results right here and now doesn't mean you're useless. Trust Him when situations uh, don't make sense. A lot of times I set the bar too low for what I think God can do uh, in my life. And this summer he's really, um, in a lot of ways, uh, rebukes me um, for my lack of faith. The Lord taught me this summer not to depend on others, but to depend on him. He taught me just about the peace that passes understanding. Depend on him for his strength to strengthen me. I'm not my own strength. With patience, as I think most every counselor here would say, patience is something that the Lord has taught them and grown them in this summer, and I'm no exception. I definitely learned a lot about how I should serve unselfishly and serve as God served. Just to depend on Him in everything for my fulfillment, for my purpose, my satisfaction, um, my joy every day. God has been showing me that my thought life or my thought patterns, the way I think, is not what it should be. And if I just change it ever so slightly, I can in, uh, then ingrain new habits and live a new life based on the truth that God has given me when I actually use it. Get out of my shell more and like talk to people. And um, he's like teaching me how to be a better witness. Rely on his strength for the physical and spiritual aspects of camp. The importance of my daily devotions. And I was able to see God use my pain in ways that I never thought was imaginable. Like I never thought it was possible for God to use that as good. And I've just been reminded time and time again of how God is good. Depend on His will and not my own. That I shouldn't have plans. That doesn't include God because uh, any minute it could change. Trust in Him through all circumstances. Prayer is not just for, you know, before your devotions and before meals that, you know, even during work, if you're getting tired, you can just be like, you know, God, I need strength today. He really taught me to focus less on myself and focus more on the people that we're invested in. Like relying on Him to get me through the day and that I cannot do things on my own, but through His strength. Be happy with the circumstances that I'm in to appreciate and to know that God is always with me and I'm in that situation for a reason. So. It's been teaching me this summer to trust Him more and to depend on Him throughout all the day and everything I do. Trust in Him and solely rely on Him like the 0-100 message we learned on the first night. And one verse that really helped me is 1 Corinthians 12.9, My grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weakness. God has taught me a lot this year through our theme of being all in and also the example of other people and um, just seeing that work out going hand in hand with elite love and the way that sometimes being all in is not convenient and sometimes um, it ha you're required to do it when you're really tired. I need to let him take control and let him rule my actions and my thoughts and my words more than like what I want to do, I guess, and letting him use my pain for his future glory. It showed me a lot of where um, I can work on in my life and like really rebuked me in ways that I um, like can be humbled in. You probably don't realize everything that you take for granted, and God has taught me that everything matters in your life. The reason that we, we should be serving and, and doing what's right is because of our love for Jesus Christ, not because of, um, not because of the consequences or because of what people will think of us, but we should be we should be an example up to others. So, um, and that's what I feel like God has taught me. He's been able to use me in ways that I did not think He would be able to use me uh, use me at um, or use me at the stage of life I'm in. Like I didn't think He was going to be able to use me like the way He has, and so just to see that and to be able to use you know, be able to use those basic things um, to serve him has been awesome. He's shown himself so faithful. Like the friend that's closer than a brother, he's really shown that to me. God has taught me um, about having relationships with people, how to reach out to them, how to approach them, how to be more friendly, 
Um, and that's definitely an area that I needed to grow in this summer. So I'm very thankful for that. God has taught me that he's a God who controls all. Like there is nothing we're going through or have gone through that he didn't have control over. I struggle a lot with fear and he's just taught me this summer that like I have no control in any of the situation. It's just completely him. Elite love, which is laid out in 1 Corinthians 13. Um, I was really neat to see how God was working in my heart about that. It's how elite love is loving someone even though they don't love you in return and you keep um, doing something, but it's also how and why you do it, the right, having the right motive for doing uh, that thing and serving the Lord. I can't rely on myself, but rely on God. And that I have to depend on His strength, not my own. The one thing I learned is to actually like hand them over and give them to Him and trust that He'll be in control. Trust Him more and basically make Him my best friend because a best friend is somebody that won't ever leave you and he will always be by your side through the thick and thin and I've just really been learning that this summer. God has taught me that leadership is not simply about titles or positions of authority, it's about leading by example. Love you guys so much, you guys are one such a good staff this summer and it's been such a blessing to work with each and every one of you. God is going to reward you guys for the work that you all have done and he's not going to take lightly the sacrifices that you've made. All the full-time staff has just so, shown so much love and patience uh, with all of us. And I just think that y'all did a great job this summer and it was a privilege to serve with you. Uh, you guys are all wonderful this summer. You really showed us elite love. I appreciate all that you did for us. I encourage all the other staff members that if you did your best for the Lord this summer, the Lord says it's not in vain and He will, he will reward you for it. There's nothing that we can do that will not fail uh, if we use God's strength. He does it for a reason, problems, opportunities, and we're going through what we're going through for a reason. He's always going to be with us if we trust Him and are there. He's never given up on you, I just said that, but it's true. And, you know, you can think, well, God hasn't answered this prayer for the last two or three years, or it could be 25 years before He does, but He has a reason. God's not bound by time, and so you shouldn't be either. Don't judge how well you're doing by comparing yourself to those around you. You are a unique person and God has unique things planned for you. As long as you know that you're doing what He wants you to do in the way that He wants you to do it. We have to be forgiving and just love first because God loved us. There are people out there who want to help you and who want to see you grow in the Lord. Don't be afraid to reach out for help if you need it. I love you guys. I'm going to miss you guys. Um, I know some of you guys I'll probably never see again, but um, I hope that when we're on the streets of gold, we uh, end up on the same block. Trust God in your life. If you don't know what's next in your life, just talk to God. Even through ups and downs, like God is always with you. I know that sounds like extremely cliche, but God is always with you. He believes in you, and you believe in Him. His strength is always going to be with you, and you can get through anything with Him. Work with your hands um, for excellence for the Lord and not junk for Jesus. Um, the same God that like we serve here at camp is the same God that we, um, we can serve and that we should be serving outside of camp. Um, believe that God is going to be the one to help you through every situation and uh, zero one hundred it's never you it's always God